TikTok is very entertaining, I'm not gonna lie, but it can also be very screwed up with little context. How do I sleep at night when the ghosts of children show up in windows, when a random axe man is found on an abandoned ship, or when your dog brings back something that really is not a stick? Before I get into it, guys, this is my last video at Most Amazing Top 10, and I think it's very ironic that I'm dressed like a freaking crayon right now. Like, what is this? Like, I swear I'm more attractive than this. But you guys, the last two years have been some of the funniest and happiest times of my life. Coming to work every day, working with all these wonderful people and making the content for you and interacting with you guys every day has been a dream and I will miss all of it so much. Thank you so much for watching me over the years and supporting me. Even if you hated me at the start, is fine. I forgive you. It's all water under the bridge now. Except for the What's Gucci haters, I still hate you all. Just letting you guys know. But if me leaving is the last straw for you during this tragic year, then worry not, you can still go watch me on my own YouTube channel. I make a bunch of fun content there, tags, story times, reactions, informative videos, and more. So the Aminator will still be around. There's no bad blood or anything. It was honestly just time for me to move on and begin anew. I'm so excited yet so sad, but I'm like ready. Stay safe everyone and thank you again. Signing us off at number 10 is The Child. Now this one is truly creepy and was uploaded by the user The Myth Right. Now she zooms us into the Martin house in Florida which she explains is haunted and she's like you know I was just driving by but are you seeing this and then the camera focus shifts to the upstairs window and you can see a little boy just standing there like this is an abandoned house no kids would still be living in there apparently legend has it that there was a family that used to live there and the dad went mad crazy after finding out his wife was cheating on him with the servant he went and murdered his entire family and hung the servant on a tree in front of the house that's no longer there because of the hurricane. And ever since then, people have been able to see the kids of the family lurking in the windows of this house, which the TikTok clearly shows. A person living nearby the house said the boy is there every single day, but in a different window. How freaking disturbing is that, you guys? Coming in at number nine is the Axe Man. This TikTok was uploaded by the true crime storyteller, Mr. Barlin, and it's about an abandoned US Navy ship. And I know to self, I think it's pretty clear by now that we should not be exploring anything about Abandoned. It's never been good vibes and it never will be. So the user tells us the story that occurred back in 2014. But the US Navy decommissioned one of their oldest ships and they docked it in order to break it down for parts because obviously recycling will save the planet. In the TikTok, the user is showing us eerie pictures of the ship and it's honestly like one top 10 story. Anyway, he mentions how the foreman had to go on board to take pictures of each room before work could be done. As he's working one night, he has his flashlight on him just snapping pictures on the ship and then emails them to his boss when he's done. Done. Within minutes, his boss got back to him saying, who's the guy with the axe? <laughs> I'm sorry, what now? The boss had attached one of the foreman's photos to the reply and obviously when he opened it, there was without a doubt a faceless man with an ax in the photo. He recognized the bowels of the ship in the photo and he had spent an hour there the day before and he had not seen that man or even heard him. Even searching the ship led to no findings. Officers also looked at CCTV footage of the only entrance and there was no footage of his coming and going. At number eight, we have the stick. Oh my God, this one actually made me feel a bit throw uppy, like it was not okay. Okay. Uploaded by TikToker Katie Andal, the video is her in a forest or wooded area and her dog comes back from exploring and he has a stick in his mouth. But then the user and us have very quickly realized it's not a freaking stick, the dog has a bloody spine in its mouth. The spine is a long, it looks very human-like or at least from a large animal. If I could swear, I would be swearing a lot right now. And the poor dog is wagging its tail and so happy about finding this giant stick when it's really just carrying skeletal remains. And then it starts running away with the spine like, please no, read the room. I know he's a dog and he can't read the room, but you know, just read the room. Filling our number seven slot is The Ghost. Now this one was uploaded by TikTok user Tian Jareens, who filmed herself dancing to the song Groceries by Chance the Rapper. She's positioned her phone so you can see her dancing on the right in her living room, but you also have a really clear view on her upstairs second floor like balcony sort of cutout area. Now four seconds into the video, you can see this black ghost shadow glide across that area with the girl having no idea, still continuing on with her dance. You know how they do like, didn't even know it. <laughs> now you can see it so clearly gliding across and it's not opaque enough to be someone's actual shadow, so it's definitely a ghost. And poor girl, she's like 12 years old at best, her innocent little ass has no idea what's going on. And the video went so viral to the point even Chance tweeted it saying, hey, it's a ghost up there. Ah. Uh. 
classic chancellor the rapper now number six is the demonic mom if i saw this on my baby monitor i would legit get my baby blessed and then exercise just in case now we ain't taking any damn chances around here boy so this one was uploaded by user lexi bruna 04 and it's a video of her baby monitor and you can see her baby very much asleep in the crib if you wait till near the end of the video a woman's face appears outside the crib and she's just staring at the baby with wide glowing eyes and human pupils are small you guys it does not reflect the entire eyeball if it was a human eye that eye was not human that figure was not human her entire eyeballs were reflecting not to mention the figure was extremely ghostly pale the whole thing is just very unsettling to watch coming in at number five is the photo uploaded by tiktok user poshman the video shows us this picture taken back in 1972 of four guests at someone's wedding firstly i just don't understand their outfits if you're going to a wedding why does this woman look like she's a human pomeranian like, I don't get it. Anyway, at first glance, the picture looks completely normal, but look at the guy in the tux. Really look at him and examine him. Between his legs, you can see someone in a white suit crouched behind him and the guy's one eye kind of poking out next to the woman's hand. When the people in the photo were asked, they said no one was behind them when the picture was snapped. Even the photographer said he didn't see anyone crouching there. If there had been someone there, he would have seen them. Police photographers also confirmed the authenticity of the photo, so I mean, this otherwise mundane picture is a lot more sinister than it first appears. Dun dun dun. I know nothing I'm saying is really that scary because I'm a giant blue crayon, but just humor me, people. <laughs> and number four is the dog sense. I did a series on top 10 scary times dog sensed evil before, and that really drove the point home to me that our pets really can see things that we can't and sense evil and other dark energy in people or in a house. This video was uploaded by TikTok user Supernatural, which has numbers instead of vowels, and it just has far too many numbers for my liking. Now, she was just sat on the sofa with her dogs watching some TV and she pans around the room and says, oh, the dogs are ready for bed. It's just a peaceful night. Oh, honey, it was never a peaceful night. And then just as she says that, one of her dogs sees something beyond the little dog gate and becomes very alert. Literally mid-scratch, it just stops and starts staring. It's staring at the opening in the door and then out of nowhere, you see a very clear black shadow move at the top part of the door. It definitely wasn't someone standing there, otherwise the shadow would have been a lot bigger. It was just so scary that the user actually moved house afterwards. I would do the same. I'm not judging you for that decision. Filling our number three slot is bronzer gone wrong. Don't you just hate it when you're in the middle of explaining your makeup routine and paranormal activity just happens right behind you? Never a good vibe. Now this one was uploaded by TikToker Alex Huff and as she's explaining which bronzer she uses, one of the closet doors behind her just randomly creaks open. Alex doesn't realize it until it opens even more and just as she realizes, the door slams closed and both of them just open. She freaks out and quickly gets up to go check and as she does, and the lights in her room go out. At this point, I would be hiding in my parents' bedroom away from the demons, but she opens the closet anyway and the closet light randomly turns on and then off. And then she notes the hell out of there. Like it's like, oh hell no. That's literally me. I feel like if the demons and ghosts heard me do that, they'd be like, that's not ghost her. She's a bit weird. Now number two are the bodies. So this one is nothing new since it was and probably still is one of the most viral TikTok stories to date. TikTok user uh, Henry went randonauting with his friends and the coordinates took them to a beach in West Seattle. Near the rocks under the bridge, the group found a black suitcase. They obviously ventured down there to get closer and eventually opened the suitcase to find a huge garbage bag inside of it with this god awful stench coming out of it. They were trying to poke it with a stick and I mean, mine goes straight to one thing. It's either expired food or a rotting dead body. There is no in between. The randonauts called the police and when they came to investigate, they found human remains inside of it. Like, that is so messed up, I actually can't even wrap my head around it. And the police didn't just find that suitcase, they ended up finding multiple suitcases around the area, all containing human remains. The King 5 news outlet later confirmed the bodies belonged to 27-year-old Austin Wenner and 35-year-old Jessica Lewis. Both had been shot to death three weeks weeks prior. That's just screwed up. Imagine just going random or thinking you're just gonna have a fun time and then you find corpses. Finally, at number one is the live. So this TikTok was actually originally a Facebook live that then went viral and got shared on TikTok. I didn't see the footage and I honestly don't want to, but the backstory to it is just very dark. So back in September of this year, 33-year-old army vet Ronnie McNutt went live on Facebook before committing 
bodied. The footage literally shows him shooting himself in the head, which I don't even know why or how people had the heart to share that. Ronnie had just lost his job at the Toyota plant he worked at, and his relationship had also recently ended as well. So it's safe to say he was probably feeling very low and alone amongst other things that it drove him to take his own life. Social media sites tried their best to get it taken down, and I think they succeeded, but not before millions had already seen it. And that is it for today's video, guys. Oh my god, this is my last ending to a most amazing video. Honestly, I said I wasn't gonna cry, and I'm not gonna cry. I'm not an easy crier. But I love you guys so, so much. Thank you for being here for the last time. I have been your host, Eamon Hassan, and I will not see you in the next one. Bye. The video is her in a forest or wooded little Asian balloon and do. Did you get that? <laughs> View on her upstairs second floor like balcony sort of cutout area. Is it called a veranda? Yes. Oh, f I knew it. I don't understand their outfits. If you're going to wit it, witting. <laughs> and then just as she says that, one of her.